Hey guys, it's Lucky Hell. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. The power is in your hands. So this is the next, mm, another, another, a next. So this is another video in my tattoo tips series. Still waiting on a better title. So, okay, right. Next thing is something that's really, really important when you're getting tattooed and I feel like it took me a good, I want to say like eight years to really figure this part out because it's so easy to get bamboozled with seeing like tattooed skin and just thinking, yeah, yeah. So this is how to know if a tattoo artist is really a good tattoo artist. Before choosing a tattoo artist, which is one of the most important things you do when you decide to get a tattoo, like the tattoo artist is an integral part of getting tattooed and you need to feel comfortable with them, you need to feel confident with them. Before you can decide that the tattoo artist that you're looking at is the one for you, you need to know that like you really know how to see what's good and what's bad. Seeing a tattoo that you like doesn't necessarily mean that the tattoo is good. There's a couple of things you can do, little things you can check for which will tell you is that artist really good please 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 remember that even if someone has tattooed all of your friends or even if someone has like a fucking 500,000 followers on Instagram does not necessarily mean that they're good do not equate insta fame with good quality in anything just because a tattooist has tattooed all of your friends just because a tattooist has a lot of followers on Instagram just because a tattoo artist has done some tattoos that you like and you're like, whoa, that's sick. Doesn't necessarily mean that they are a fantastic smoking hot artist in their industry. An artist that does a tattoo that looks good can then also do another tattoo that looks awful. And that can just be dependent on the style. Maybe they were comfortable in this style and not in that style. And you won't know that unless you do loads of research and are able to distinguish what is a really good tattoo artist to what is a like, looks pretty good but isn't really that good kind of tattoo artist. If you're going for cheap tattoos, don't even bother to watch this video because you're probably not gonna really care if the artist is at the top of their game. You're really caring about the price. Here's a little inside info about tattoos. Here are some tips to do tattoo artist deciphering. So the easiest way to check if a tattoo artist that you're looking at is like, is to check their line work. Lines are the first thing a tattoo artist learns how to do. And usually when a tattoo artist goes through an apprenticeship, if they're working in a really good studio and being taught by really professional tattoo artists, they're never really allowed to start doing like a lot of other stuff in tattoos until they can really nail that line work. Lines are like the first step, the first line of defense. So what you want to look for with line work is check that they're even. If it's a thin line, it should be thin all the way along. It shouldn't go thin, what, a little bit thicker, a little thin, what, a little bit thicker, thin. That's not very good line work. You also want to check that the lines are straight when they're meant to be straight and curved when they're meant to be curved. If there's a line that's making a curve but it's kind of got straight areas in it, not very good. If a line is supposed to be straight and it's kind of like meh, not very good. I'm sorry. So you want to look for straight and even and consistent. I still do this to this day. When I find a tattoo artist on Instagram and I'm like, whoa, whoa, I'll like zoom in, I'll find their portfolio online or like zoom in on Instagram and just check like if the lines are really that good up close. Especially when you're looking at tattoos that are big, it can just look really awesome and you can kind of like miss some of errors that may have been done. So it's really good to like zoom in and check, are those lines really as sick as they look? Because if they are, I'm gonna get tattooed by this person. The next thing you can do is to check that the tattoo artist is reliable and consistent within their work. So you wanna look at their whole portfolio and make sure that all the tattoos that they've done in that portfolio are good. Not just like three are fantastic and the rest are mediocre. That shows you that they're not really consistent with their work. So it probably means that the ones that were like freaking amazing are the ones that they're most comfortable doing. And unless you get a tattoo very similar to that, you're not gonna get the best of their work. You don't really know what 
has made that tattoo so good. Could have been a fluke, could have been their best work ever. You want to make sure that a tattoo artist is consistent across the board and that pretty much every time they do a tattoo, they bang out an amazing piece of work. This is why you should go to a tattoo artist who is specialized in one area. Because if you go to a tattoo artist who is like highly specialized in neo-traditional or new school or photorealistic and you want a tattoo in neo-traditional, new school or photorealistic, you're going to get that tattoo artist doing what they love to do, what they're the best at, and you'll get the best out of that experience. This is why custom tattoo artists are like generally the best kind of tattoo artists to go for. There is an exception to the rule though, because there are tattoo artists who are like these well-rounded artists who are just like badass at everything. They can do black and gray. They can do a little bit of realism, like up to a really high standard, you know, and that's a quite a unique thing to be able to be good at everything. Think of a musician. A guitarist is probably going to be able to play some bass and like probably even have some percussion ability to make some basic drums. But if you're looking to hire a sick drummer, you don't really want the guitarist who can kind of play drums. No, you want the sick drummer. So it's kind of like that. But the same, there's exceptions to the rule. There are some musicians who are just f***ing sick at everything and they're able to make a whole album on their own, like Trent Reznor. So yeah, you can hire him to do anything because he's just an epic human being at music. Same goes with tattoos. A red flag when you're looking at a tattoo artist portfolio is seeing a couple of good tattoos or a couple of good styles like oh yeah the old school's pretty good oh yeah the new school's pretty good and then seeing a bunch of like crappy work in there. That's a red flag that says that they're not really consistent within their work so I would personally stay away from artists like that. My last tip that's a really good one is to ask another tattoo artist that you know is really good if the artist you're looking at is decent. I still do this today. One of my portrait tattoo artists is one of like the best and sometimes when I'm looking at portrait tattoo artists on Instagram because I want to fill up a whole leg, I need so many more of those tattoos. I'm like looking at someone who's doing like photorealistic and like some of the horror ones look good but some of the normal ones are like a bit meh and I'll ask my regular portrait tattoo artist like hey see this person are they like are they like sick? And usually he'll be like, yeah, they're pretty good, or I've never heard of them, but it looks pretty good. Sometimes he'll be like, you know what, have a look at that. That, what's going on with the nose? And I'll be like, oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. That nose is really not looking as real as the rest of the face. Good to know. I don't think I'm going to get tattooed by this portrait artist because I want to try and get as best work I can. I know that people on, on my black arm video have been commenting all kinds of like nasty shit about how awful my tattoos look and how terrible they are. And like this is personal taste. Like if you don't like my tattoos, cool. No problem to me because I love them and they're on my body and I have to deal with them every day. So that's the thing. But definitely got a bunch of shitty tattoos by artists. I was just like, yeah, whatever, that'll be fine. And I've since covered it up or I'm going to cover it up or I'm just kind of like, <laughs> look at this tattoo that I have. Most people that have a full collection of tattoos have one or two that are not like the best or is not by the best artist and it's not the end of the world. So these tips are just like basically how I go about getting tattooed, how I I make sure that I'm not bamboozled by a couple of good pictures and then going to an artist who's like not really that amazing. This is not to like down talk anyone who makes tattoos but this is for people who want to get tattooed. Like when you want to get a tattoo you're paying a lot of money and if you're not paying quite a bit of money you can expect a pretty mediocre tattoo. But when you're paying a decent amount of money to get tattooed and you're putting it on your body, damn right you want to make sure you've got a freaking amazing artist. So. That's why I'm saying this. The whole reason I'm making these tattoo tip videos is because people are always asking me about tattoos and I made all of these mistakes and more when I was getting tattooed. And for me, it was a part of the journey and I learnt along the way and now I'm able to spot a good artist, I'm able to know what's a good price, I'm able to know what works with my body, all from trial and error. And so I just thought I'd give you guys some of the things that I use when I'm looking at tattoos and tattoo artists and da 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 so that's all. I don't think I know everything about tattoos. I am not a tattoo artist. I cannot draw to save my life. I don't claim to know everything about tattoos. I do know a bit though from experience and from having a lot of friends that are really well-known tattoo artists who also have given me their time to ask their advice for these videos.
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You know that that's good on YouTube. You know that's and don't forget to subscribe, definitely. What else do you want to know about tattoos? I'm going to make more videos in this series. They're going to come out very slowly because I am like a sloth day to day. I cannot get out of bed and put makeup on and film all the time. It is impossible. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah! So this is my... Mm,